After the Bungie servers finally let us in, it's time to see what actual Bright Dust comes. Now, like I mentioned every week, last week's selection is gone, so if you want to get your hands on something like this, like the Hatchling Huddle, but you waited too long or just didn't buy initially, it's very possible it is gone forever. So, you know, I would recommend that folks, when they want something, they come and get it. So, checking with Eververse. Now, we have on the front page, you have Swap the Deck, an emote that I'm pretty sure is only available from the front page right now, which is you have a... Ch you have cage chicken on your shoulder and you are sweeping and it's kind of sweeper bot updated if i could actually give it a description so it's an updated sweeper bot emote with uh the kernel on your shoulder but aside from that we also have other emotes from the season coming around i'm pretty sure this one is in the uh seasonal tab if you want it so go ahead and grab it there and then various other things like an ornament for um last word but this is also available at any time if you want it so there's other things like that now into our main store we have a shader jacarina from season of the uh arrivals it's pretty good black and white one is pretty solid in terms of its black and white distribution it's not too heavy in one not too light on the other but it also comes with some nice blue glows so if you wish that for a look for a monochrome setup i would definitely recommend it then for a catch entrance that's you know a transmat it's another transmat. Then we also have the Tethys shell, which is this. This is the Telesto shell. This goes with the Telesto set in the store right now. Basically, uh, goes to want to orbit another moon. It's a little sparky, a little bit broken because you know what Telesto has been on the game. Then we also have Spherical Ruminations, an emote available for Bright Dust. This one is one that is possibly not going to come around again unless for Silver. So I would recommend if folks want this exotic emote available this season now, they spend their Bright Dust and get it. But you know, it's also not that complicated of an emote and i'm pretty sure it's you trying to um be a fortune teller of some sort and just kind of failing but into the brightest store itself i pressed too many buttons now into the flare we have amethyst veil a shader from season of the opulent a pretty good void inspired one mainly black some silvers but chrome silvers some dark blues but purple glows to it i used this on my hunter when void 3.0 came out and it looked pretty dang good and i'm still using it on my warlock now would definitely recommend then we also have Chitin Slate, a not too great looking one. It's a little weird for some weapons, but I would recommend that folks equip this on weapons that have glows. Because while armor doesn't glow, something like Fatebringer makes it a dark black with a red glow. This is what I use to make my Fatebringer look Sith style. But then we also have Copper Brand, a, you know, Copper Metals look for any of your characters. Um, if it would actually load, because if this is taking too long. But yeah, honestly, these colors are pretty reminiscent of what it looks like in some nice... Ah, there we go. Copper metallic looks to look like you're a little bit sun-scorched if you want an idea for it. They must have Wayfarer's Guides from Season of the Lost, which is one of those green ones. Another green one. Not the best green one, but it is a green one. And then we into our transmats, we have Traveler's Wake effects, you know, popping out of the Traveler at the end of the Red War. The Reef Awoken, which is you popping out of Reef uh, Hollow effects. And then the Twin Snake effects, which is you popping out of the Twin Gambit Snakes, of course, from Season of the Drifter. Then, for another exotic emote, so many emotes ever, we have Take a Seat from Season, uh, well, this season. And it's hard to say what this is because it's, inv I can't say how many people, but man, this, this emote is creepy seeing multiples of my own Guardian in that weird, this, this is almost, that light almost gives it like a Borderlands effect for its cartoonish look. But I'm leaving that. That creeps me out. Then we also have Fancy Hat Roll from Season Splicer. It's a fancy hat roll if you wish to say hello. And then we also have the Skiff Scribble Shell. A shell from this season which is kind of like on the Skiff Pirate set. It's... I like the idea it's going for, but I gotta admit this does look quite trashy. But then again, the trash is the fallen denominator. Then we also have Saint's Vocation from Season of the Worthy. Which I believe this is supposed to be another Saint 14 shader. Um, he returned just the season before. It's supposed to be like an updated Saint's Pigeon, but at the same time, it's not really his, you know, it's a good looking ship, but um, it's weird shadering and it's kind of bland aside from how it looks in its form. Then for all of our characters, we do have the class items. If anyone has one of the class items from the set of Fortnite gear for any of your characters, it is currently class items on all of your characters. And then we also have Pseudoscience, an ornament from this season for wave splitter i would definitely actually recommend this one this one looks pretty good i don't personally use wave splitter but if case i ever do i always pick up the ornaments that actually look good for whenever i get the chance 
And of course, lastly, as usual, we have a ghost projection in the form of the Stasis Damage logo. With that, my name is Matt Scorpion, and I'll see you in the next video.